You know, it's been far too long since I brought a list out. And as a man, I do love a list. So today I am bringing you my top five sneakers of 2019. And I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do my utmost to steer clear of the hype, steer clear of the, the basic... Ye uh, there's no Yeezys, basically. No Yeezys are allowed in this top five list because I'm sick to death of looking... And, and researching, just looking at the shoes of this year and researching this video, everyone's got f***ing Yeezys in it. There's way more, there's way more to the sneaker game than Yeezys, I assure you. And here's five reasons why. So I'm going to start with what I think is probably my most left field shout, and it's a Reebok Aztrek 96. I've gone for the Deep Teal reissued in 2019 from the original 1996 model. I think it's the best the best kind of new reissued silhouette that's come out of this year. I think it's banging. It looks comfy as It's got a great shape. It ticks all the boxes for me. I need to get a pair. Hopefully they'll be in sale somewhere. I'm sure they will. Because again, no hype. I feel like this model's crying out for a really good collab in 2020. So Reebok, make it happen. I've already done a couple of versions on sneaker screens. So if not them, Hit me up, let me know, I got you. Shoe number four is the Air Max Plus 3 in Hyper. These hark back to the old TN days, back in like the mid 2000s when I was a teenager, when everyone apart from me, because I just, I was, I was the AstroTurf kid, I'm afraid. Thanks, mum. All the cool kids had TNs back in the day. And obviously they've come full circle, they've come back around. And these in Hyper, the pink and yellow just absolutely pops on these the air bubbles are cool i i'm not overly keen on this little tuned air bit at the front that's probably my my biggest reservation but in terms of the colorway on these and just the they just look purposeful as there's some good colorways actually on this shoe but for me the hyper one wins out shoe number three on this list is one that i came across very recently and i've actually only been able to find quite limited information about it but it's a very left field shout. It's the New Balance 997 Baited. Look at these absolute bangers. They're just dope, man. I just, I think, I think they're just really, really well put together. They've been work, really well thought out. I love the black in the sole. I love the kind of black NB. I love the black tongue with the laces. And then just all the colors on the upper. It kind of just brings it all together. I think that they've not gone too far i feel that any more and they'd have become a bit of a clown shoe but i think they've got the balance spot on with these they're just leery enough that i feel that if i had the money i would definitely cop also shout out to the updated sole on the the 997 i mean the original can't be beaten don't get me wrong but i feel like this more tech kind of bulbous take on it is is equally decent if you ask me and i think this colorway has nailed it so we're getting to number two on my list and yes this is a shoe that has been incredibly hyped this is the 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 single one the the one hype release but i feel it's totally justified because i love the air jordan one by far and away my favorite basketball shoe and the cactus jack just smashed it with these obviously the reverse swoosh what everyone bangs on about they look, it's just a really well executed pair of shoes. The materials are on point, the colors thoroughly decent. If I had to pick up any hype release of this year, it would 100%, 100% be these. I love the AJ one. I've only ever owned one pair. I need to get more high top AJ ones just will always dominate as far as I'm concerned. And this like new take on it, cause you know, yeah, they've pushed the boat out and, and taking what is such a classic silhouette and doing that to it is, is risky, but Travis has nailed it. Fair play, fair play. You're taking number two on my list, the Cactus Jack Air Jordan one. And last, but by no means least, the winner, my number one shoe of 2019, well, first and foremost, it's actually part of a pack of three, and it's the New Balance 1500 sample pack. Look at these three 
absolutely beautiful new balance 1500s if you don't know now you know the 1500 is my favorite new balance of all time uh arguably my favorite sneaker of all time even though i don't own a pair right now and have only ever owned one pair once uh which is kind of weird uh but they, they are quite spenny and of these three i'm going for the blue and the red pair in the middle the materials on point the colors the blocking it just ticks all the boxes for me on my favorite silhouette new balance have smashed it this isn't this is no collab this is just a really nicely executed general release i, I can't ask for any more from a shoe uh, so if i had to own any shoe of this year it would be these in the blue although to be fair i would happily uh, if, if if you offered me the other two i definitely wouldn't say no you know what i mean like, I'd, okay yeah for free i'll take that but you know what the blue ones they'd be my number one pick they'd be top dollar for me mate. so there we have it they're my top five of the year obviously this is always going to be a very individual list uh let me know in the comments down below what you think of my top five uh if i'm wrong feel free to tell me i can take the abuse and as always don't forget to let me know if my adam's apple looks really big because last week i was going through old videos of mine and i found a really hurtful comment when someone said it looked like it was struggling <laughs> I mean, it does, to be fair, so I can't really blame them for that, can I? As ever, thank you very much for watching this video. Please drop a like on it if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and you want to see more sneaker design and me-related content. Next year, hopefully, we're going to smash it. Uh, and Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to you all. I've been Tomo. This is the Tom McCluskey YouTube channel. Thanks again. Have a good one. Ta-da.